Hi, everyone, and welcome to another A&B Movies video. Today, we are going to be doing a, another review where we're going to talk about VHS 99, the newest VHS movie that is streaming on Shudder. But um, before we do that... T-shirt yes. come today. Awesome. And this is, uh, this is sent to us by the Fly Die Inc. Co. Awesome. It's gone. I'm so glad you got really it. Really cool T-shirt. Um, I will say these feel really incredibly good, like um, really well made as well, don't they? So, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I love mine. I actually worked to the mall today. Yes. But um, I've not been able to do that shrink since I've been uh, there. <laughs> so I can't do that anymore. <laughs> but no, these are really cool. Love the uh, artwork. Yeah, the designs, uh, the coloring is very nice. Yeah. And um, I'd just like to say the person who designed the logo was really excited that it's been put onto a t-shirt and um thought it was really good as like what they've done with it so is she going to wear it to the grocery store yeah perhaps <laughs> maker i wore mine to lunch and to the mall and to the grocery store today so we'll see our subscribers are going to go through the ceiling <laughs> or not of course they will of course. of course they will um all right man what are you drinking why don't you go first I'm drinking a, it's called Adnan's uh, South World Ghost Ship Pale Ale. It's oh, cool. Very cool. It is 4.5. Not bad. On the <laughs> <laughs> um, it says, oh, I ain't got no chance reading this. Inspired by the tales of um, where is it? old smuggling ships along the Suffolk coast. There you are. How is it? Very nice, actually. Cool. In fact, it's first one valid. It really nice. Yeah, nice. Um, it would go nicely with uh, the movie Ghost Ship. Yeah, obviously. Have to. <laughs> All right, here I'm up next, man. I've got uh, Vampire Death Wish. Ah, uh, uh, it's so cool. Check that. that out, right? Isn't that cool? Um, That's like a really cool metallic can, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. They no, have nice, a nice label. Metallic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's uh, a yeah. sour ale with sour cherries and blood oranges. Oh, I love cherry. And stuff. this, yeah, me too. This is made by Four Quarters Brewing, located in Winooski, Vermont, and it's six percent alcohol. Nice. Any good? Oh, I'm knocking stuff. Again. I haven't opened it. Hope there are any spiders. Go for it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's awesome. And I'm not prepared, but I am going to drink it out of my, uh, since I showed the, the last Geeky Tiki, um, this is Barbara Geeky Tiki from Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. See what she did there with her eyeballs and her teeth? <laughs> you used to scare me when we were younger, that. Yeah, yeah, that one scene. Can you be scary, right? Yep. Definitely. <laughs> All right, cool. So in, in this, uh, like I said, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about VHS 99, the newest horror anthology in the series that was just launched on Shudder. There are five segments um, in the movie. Quite entertaining. I think overall, I'd probably give it a seven or eight out of 10. What did you think, Ben? Six? I'm going to go to a... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, because um, it's our reviews, I'm going to be um, absolutely uh, honest and go with a five for this. Oh, really? You didn't like it? It wasn't that I didn't like it. It was watchable. Mm -hmm. I just didn't enjoy the the segment stories as much as the, the others film. that I've seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not, not that I liked all of them. As well, um, I always sort of go back to this. I, I think I was speaking to somebody the other day about saying I just always remember the original more than any of them. So yes. that, that was yes. And was it well, viral? Was it called viral? I think the first one was just called VHS, and then there's VHS two, and then viral. I think is the mm. third one, which is the only one I haven't seen. And then ninety four came out last year, and this one is ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, I've seen more now. I don't know. I mean, I, I sort of got what I expected from it. Um, they're quick segments, um, as you would expect in a horror anthology. Maybe we could talk about each one. Um, so the first one was called Shredding. 
Uh, it was about a band that goes to an underground uh, abandoned site um, where uh, a previous band was playing there and they happened to have gotten trampled to death. Um, and then things go a little bit awry yeah, and bit some unexpected things happen. Yeah, a bit disrespectful and uh, yes, get what they deserve, deserve. mate. Yeah. <laughs> Some good gory yeah, scenes in it, I thought. That was pretty yeah. good. I liked it. There was one scene right when one of the um, band members gets kind of just pulled up and then dropped down yeah. on the floor. That was kind yeah. of, that was nice. Um, yeah, that was a fun one. It was okay. Um, it was a nice way to start the movie, I thought. Yeah. Uh, it, it, again, it was it was good in a way than the whole... Um, like, the way teens are doing silly things, sort of like your jackass videos copying. But yes, I don't know if I maybe thought it was a little too silly. But then again, it's it's the VHS movie, so they are what they are. But it's yeah, there were a lot of pranks and practical jokes in that one that they were playing on that one guy. Right, they seem to come down pretty hard on yeah on one of the band members. Um. I don't know. It was fine. It was it was one of the the little stories that maybe I did sort of enjoy. Yeah, I like that one too. I thought it was, like I said, it was a nice way to start start the movie. Why don't we go on to the next one? Suicide bid um, about this young girl in college who opts into just one sorority, um, hoping that they will accept her, and they call that um, a suicide bid. And then they play a, a, a joke on her, right? An initiation joke. That goes yeah. terribly wrong. This was my favourite one, actually. Out of all too, of yeah. them. Was yeah. it the spiders? No. Those were some big <laughs> spiders, man. <laughs> some big spiders, yeah. Um, and I, it took a bit more than a wood and a bit of mound of dirt to keep me in there um, with them. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed it. Squishes, it and... squishes, squishes the spiders. Oh, Go ahead. I know. <laughs> Talk about claustrophobic, though. Yeah, it was. Um, and I actually think, what? <laughs> just, um, I remember watching a film with Ryan Reynolds. Oh, about yeah. That. Um, is it Buried uh, or something? Buried, I think it's called. Yes. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that, that's, that's a, you know, it gave me that sort that's of feeling. A tough one. Thing, um, mm -hmm. This was good. And for some reason, a part of it just reminded me of um, Eddie Monster, Eddie Head, sorry, from Iron Maiden. Oh, yeah, yeah. The monster. Yeah, and I always think to myself, what a cool character he'd be in a film. And they, it kind of looked like him. And I was, and now, uh, there you have that. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that it, one too. Good story. Mm -hmm. Fun. No, those, uh, those sorority sisters weren't very nice, but they, I guess they sort of get what they uh, had coming to them in the end, right? Yeah. yeah. I kind of get the feel from um, this one that maybe that was the kind of Mm -hmm. since they were getting uh, across on quite a few of these stories. Yes, oh, it's definitely a, a theme. Yeah, what you sort of deserve, kind of. Oh, yeah, I think that carried through all, for all yeah. of them. Yeah. Um, well, let's go on to the next one, which was Ozzy's Dungeon, um, which was about a kid's game show. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> kind of like a, a nod to like those Nickelodeon game shows of the 90s yeah. um, or whenever they came out. And uh, another example of the, the host kind of gets what he deserves. But then the parents sort of do too. It was a, a weird, I, I think this segment for me was probably the strangest one in the film. It didn't, like the game show itself didn't really make sense. I mean, I, I get yeah. sort of like a fantasy, and... fantastical sort of story. Um, and then I didn't really get the ending. I mean, I, I sort of did. I think she wished for probably give her parents and the host and everyone else around what they deserved because they all ended up kind of being despicable people. Right. Yeah, but anyway, go ahead. What did you think? Kind of an Indiana Jones ending was it? it's like Yes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we're it's a review. We can spoil it. Go ahead. Like yeah. a face go for it. Like melting face sort of her, that's yes. what it reminded me of anyway. But um I thought about that too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And even like and the uh, lights, right? The coloring. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And it's like just waiting for someone to say, don't look. But um 
Yeah. It was, like you said, it was one of them stories. To be fair, this was probably the biggest one where I was like, oh, come on, get on to the next one. Because it, it, I don't know if it was the same length, if they were all the same lengths, but this was kind of... I'm not sure, yeah, I should have looked that up. ...ragging now. I was mm. like, come on, it's, it's a bit... I don't know. But it, that, it might be just me because a lot of people have been saying this is the best one you get and it's kind of the one I've least enjoyed, maybe. Ozzy's Dungeon? Uh, the whole, the one, as a whole. Oh, the movie yeah. as a whole. Yeah. 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 Well, I feel like there was something missing. One thing that I wanted more of was sort of that framing element that we had in the others. And yeah. we sort of do with the, the, the little army figures and the kid recording it. Yeah, it, goes, it, was, it was kind of funny listening to his little yeah. his talks with his, um, yeah. his figures. But anyway, that goes right into the Gawkers, which is the fourth one, right? Um, the kids who they kind of goof off and do all these like practical jokes and then focus in on the neighbor across the street. And I've got to ask. They probably should have left her alone. Did, did you guess where it was going with that? I suspected there was something not right with her. Do you know, I didn't I think actually, we were going to go back into Greek mythology, though. But I guess that. I think I know how, you, right? When they were talking about the statues in her yard. Is that when you thought? Not just that. There yeah. was another bit. Can we say? Can sure, we go say? Spoiler Remember alert. When they're, when they're doing, um, like, they're, whatever they're doing, messing about, they find the big snake skin. Yeah. And he looked throws it away mm -hmm. and then I started seeing the stone statues and I was like oh ah, you're right uh, yeah yeah the snake skin yeah so it's funny when the kid calls 911 he's like there's a woman with snakes on her head and she's he's like how many <laughs> how many snakes <laughs> and the kid's like I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoyed that one I kind of um I don't know. I, I it's a simple kind of story, but I, I enjoyed like the yeah, it's, it's pretty it's intense. okay again. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it was just uh, fun again. It's, I don't yeah. that would say to me that's sort of um, probably like it should be. I quite <laughs> yeah. So between the the um, yeah. One where she's very, um, yeah, I quite in those two were, were fun. Those two were the best, yeah. Um, all right, well, let's talk about the last one to Helen back about the two guys who go to a, 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 a witch's sort of seance where they're going to bring a demon back and then they accidentally get pulled into hell. Um, and coincidentally, written and directed by the same couple, um, Vanessa and Joseph Winter, who did uh, Deadstream, coincidentally. Which is the yeah. one we talked about in our last uh, review. It was a really fun film. Did you get the sort of little nod? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, wrong. I mean, I know it's the Look same right. actress, and he's in. Yeah, it. I thought the name was the same as well. Her name. Mabel. Yeah. No, because I think in Deadstream it was Mildred. Mabel? I think it was Is Mildred. It Mildred? I think oh, it was Mildred. I didn't. I didn't. I was watching yeah. it because you told me ahead of time that there was a nod. I was like, I kept waiting for oh. it. Um, but then I don't know. I mean, it was cool to see Mildred back as a. That's, that's my bad. As thing. a demon. What? <laughs> that's my bad. God, I'm wrong. Um, so I. I mean, I guess overall, I, I enjoyed that one. I thought it was pretty funny. I had some of the humor that Deadstream did, and, it, and it, yeah, some great that, effects that too. Go ahead. No, I was just saying it, it did. Yeah, it did have some um, some funny bits. Again, it did go to kind of that place where I was like, oh, come on. I don't know if I was maybe waiting for something more to happen or it, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not. It, it was, it was okay. It was entertaining. And the, the moments in hell I thought were, were kind of cool with the, like the different demons and, Creepy I things that they take saw. on that, yeah, how they um, sort of done their version of what hell was, which was quite... Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh boy, you have a visitor. <laughs> I knew he was going to bark. It, uh, it's okay. <laughs> um, I'm scared. <laughs> ask, ask what your dog thinks of the movie. 
He, he, I'm just joking. <laughs> he's on the fence. <laughs> he's on the fence, yeah. Um, a nice twist in the end, yeah. right? When he's like, we made it back, but it's not really him, quite him. <laughs> it's not quite yeah. the same. Um, nice touch, though. <laughs> it's okay. That's a, we all have dogs. Special effect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wants to be on video. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Well, that was our uh, our latest movie review. Uh, we went with 99. Uh, ben, what are you looking forward to seeing? That's what's coming out that you're excited about. Um, uh, Insidious, I believe there is another one being. Oh, yeah, green, I heard that. Really? Yes, that will be cool. Okay. I'll definitely but, see that. Um, I oh, do love those films. Uh, mm -hmm. The last one, maybe not so strong in uh, the series, but the yeah. first one. Yeah. Was that like the skeleton key? Yeah. Is that the same? It, it was okay. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it was okay. It was, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the first two were great. Were great. Yeah. The, and um, I want that feeling of the first one back because I know you're not going to get it because um, obviously the characters died. But when, when they go into the house and she's they're in the bedroom yes. and he's got the pad out and yes. she's describing what she's seeing and he's drawing it. And that yes. just gives a real good, I was like, as, as she's, he's drawing it and you can see, I was like, this is cool. Yeah. I was, I was yeah, really, that's sad. a good, I love that. and when that's the door good. opens and he's like stood in the corner of the, in room, the corner. Right. Right. Oh, so good. Yeah. Love and with that. The sitting at the dining room table and you see the face. <laughs> Right next got to her. Yeah. Oh my god! I jumped the first time I saw that. I think that was even in like the trailer, but yet still everyone jumped at it. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure I saw it in the movie theater. I think everyone screamed. Yeah. I I, I jump in movie theaters. My buddies always give me a hard time. But that's one of them again <laughs> where I'm a big fan of. I always say this to you. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes less is more, but I did enjoy how it went into like the. Uh, the other side, say, where he was sleepwalking, yes. and yes. Um, obviously where his body left, and that cool. Yeah, I've, I loved all that. So hopefully, oh, it was cool. Yeah, and then the pictures, right? Like you never, well, I yeah. went going on and on about insidious. I'll have to do a, a an insidious video in the future. Um, I'm excited about. I've heard that they're going to do a Nightmare on Elm Street reboot or new Nightmare on Elm Street movies. I'm not sure. I heard Robert Englund is willing to. Um, Play Freddy again, but I've also heard that he recommends that Kevin Bacon take over as Freddy Krueger um, in the future films, which I think is an awesome choice. Um, and let's hope they let's hope they do it right, not like the uh, remake that we won't talk about. Do you know it's funny, Rod, because you you say that, and I've spoke spoken to people, and they're like, "Yeah, the remake was pretty good, wasn't it?" And I was like, "Have you ever watched any of the originals?" And um. Oh, they never seen the original. <laughs> oh, it's, it just I get that they were going to trying to go darker with it and give yeah. Freddy yeah. a, a mm -hmm. darker, but it just it's too dark. It, the movie took itself too seriously, and I think that was the problem. The whole yeah, but that that was the good thing, wasn't it, with Robert England's um Yeah, it was kind of even the original, was, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was kind of like a a jester type sort of character where he was just silly but was evil wasn't it it, it was so good so i, I always remember because everyone hated the last like the freddy's dead they wasn't a big fan but i always remember like oh, it's kind of the, old, uh, got, uh, the video game power and it was like that was cool I loved all that. <laughs> well even the first one right when he's like in the alleyway he's like hey tina look at this and he slices his fingers off it's like <laughs> gross but also kind of morbidly yeah. funny. Oh, the arms, yeah, the arms yeah. spread out, yeah. I guess. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, I guess, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. I still love the first one, man. That, that's yeah. a classic. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, all right, well, that's our movie review. Uh, if there are movies you would like us to review in the future, add it in the comments and we will consider it. Definitely. Um, go to Instagram, follow us on there, and... Um, if you hit, like you always say, you probably do, so that's why yeah. Um, and also hit the like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. And a big thanks to everybody who always comments and likes our stuff. Exactly. Bye everyone. And the shirt. <laughs> the shirt. <laughs>